It's your boy. I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't have good interest for this yet. <laughs> hey, welcome to R and R. We are covering My Hero Academia chapter two sixty seven. Uh, I am Rue, and I'm Aaron. Aaron, what? Oh, Aaron Seawolf. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm technically the Rue show. You know, the whole show. Ba ba ba. Named after you, you know. I'm, ju- I'm not. I'm not. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe name it the Rue and Aaron show. It's down the line. Down the line. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to be discussing uh, the My Hero Academia chapter two sixty seven, and it was a fantastic chapter for the most part for me. Like I loved it. I didn't have I didn't have too many problems with it because it's just nonstop things happening, and I loved it. So. For those who don't know, spoiler warning, just in case, because we're going to be talking about the chapter. And uh, the chapter starts off with a flashback of Hawks and Fumikage discussing Hawks' weaknesses, saying, you know, the only thing that might actually scare me is fire, because even his fierce wings can burn. So it's kind of hinting at, uh, Dabby's a big mismatch for this guy right now. Just a, just a little bit considering i mean if you if you're not caught up on the series you should be at this point considering dobby is at least on the same level as with endeavor for f- firepower so you know might be a slight disadvantage for the flammable hawk yeah then we uh we go back to present time we see a uh, fat gum have fumikage or, and uh the other ua students the thunder one i forget his name right now and two other from class b and he's like we you you guys job you're done let's get you out of here and then you see, like, in the background, Mount Lady and some other heroes fighting uh, the villain society. What's their names again? Not- I am so glad you mentioned the Mount Lady thing because it's only in, like, two panels. But it is the funniest thing yeah. to see in the background of her getting angry and then stopping on people. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a that was pretty great to me because it's just, like, he cared to give that to his background. I mean, you watch, you read some uh, manga like Bleach who has no backgrounds whatsoever sometimes. It's, like, nice to see backgrounds yeah. utilized. So you might not even you might not even seen it for some people like because you're paying attention to fat gum because he's fat taxi. They literally call him <laughs> fat taxi hey, and uh, to get the kids out. It's so fucking, so funny. <laughs> Imagine going on your phone and you just see the fat taxi app come up and you're like, hey, we got to get this fat taxi. And, he, <laughs> and, and fat, fat gum <laughs> just waddles up. You're trying to get from a bar. You're just like, oh, man, fat taxi's here. <laughs> Current the Thunder Boy, it's uh, pretty comfortable, though, so. <laughs> Probably pretty warm, you know, in the winter. That's what you need. But uh, we see Fumikage kind of look up, like, oh, hope everything's okay. And then we come back to Hawks and Dobby. And uh, let's just say, Hawks is getting pretty much wrecked right now in this scene. He's getting messed up. And then uh, I kind of love this scene in a way because you see Dobby, like, standing over him, smiling. And Hawks says, does this look like a man who just lost a friend? And then to me, that's like kind of true, but I, I truly don't know how Dobby feels about twice his death. You know why? Because I, re- I had to reread the last chapter. Uh, he's like, he is sad about twice his death, but he's sad because he his dream had a better chance of succeeding if Dobby, not Dobby, uh, twice lived. Right. So we don't know what that dream is, yeah. but whatever it is, it can't be good. Yeah, but it just kind of because. Mainly for me, it's like, did he? I do believe he did care about Twice at the end of the day. Not just he didn't just use him because it all goes down to that high five he gives Twice as Twice is running. Mm-hmm. I don't think he does that if he just thinks Twice is a guy that can help him get his dreams. That shows like almost a family. Like that yeah. high five, that one panel to me, I was like, no, he he does care about Twice. This is almost a facade in a way to say. I don't think it's a full for full facade. But I think it's a little bit of him trying At to be least a... partial. Yeah. I mean, he does mention that his tear ducts are burned so he can't cry. But that could just be a little bit of mis- you know, misdirection on his part. <sighs> but we find out like the two backgrounds that Hawks couldn't find were Shiraki, obviously, and mm-hmm. Dobby. Uh, he found everyone else's backgrounds in the League of Villains, but he couldn't find those two. It then appears that Dobby tells Hawks who he truly is. And the, but the text bubble is uh, blacked out. So uh, mm-hmm. if you want my opinion, it, I mean, I don't think it's Endeavor's son. It could be his uh, dead son, I think. Oh, really? It could be. That's the big fan theory that everyone goes off of. But I'm because he knows Hawks' true name. I don't know if you caught that. 
since he knows Hawks is a real name, which he gave up that name when he was a boy. I think he had to be in the same training that Hawks was as a kid. So, which means all his records are expunged because why, why does he know Hawks' is true name? Right. And then, Do- and then when uh, Hawks or Dobby tells Hawks, hey, this is who I am. And Hawks has that expression of it's you type of type of deal. So, yeah. Like a recognition almost. And, uh, whew, I really want to know who he is. I mean, Dobby to me is like one of the most interesting characters now. I know. I, I'm still on the, I'm still on the most of the fan journey thinking that he might be Endeavor son. Cause they're really like hard lining into like, Oh, Endeavor had a kid that we don't see anymore. Possibly dead. He definitely had flame powers. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I think maybe his kid maybe died and then they he was like nope the kid's alive but he didn't know obviously that the kid was alive and then they go he like goes through that training villain or something like i don't even think he's rescued maybe he's rescued by a villain and is sent to that training facility as like hey we need you to figure intel get stronger because of this if you live you live if you die you die type of deal yeah. but uh yeah leave your comments down below what you, who you think uh dobby is but as things go on uh this is kind of my, one of my favorite quotes i think it's in the thumbnail actually is uh Dobby tells Hawks he doesn't care about the league because a single person with a single conviction has the power to change the world. Dobby wants to make Stain's will into reality. And I think the single convi- conviction has to change the world is so great. Like one man can change the world if he really wanted to. Stain's whole ideology is almost like a, like a polar opposite of All Might's. And I think that's really interesting because All Might is the guiding influence for every hero pretty much. And Stain is fast becoming the guiding light for almost every villain. Like, yeah, yeah the Destro people are like the, like they just came out suddenly, but Stain. No, St- Stain's the symbol. Has more of an impact in the story itself. Mm-hmm. You know, like the the people that we're following right now, they're kind of like they've just come back within the like the last like forty chapters, I think. Yeah, I think not. Maybe not even that. And you know, Stain is kind of boring. Re- Stain <laughs> is so relevant to this day. Yeah, and as continuing that, with the episode, yeah. we need to talk about my favorite like female hero at the moment because this girl is crazy. Don't know her name. <laughs> Bunny, I have her as is Mirioko. Bunny girl senpai Mirioko. She is bad ass. She is probably one of the. She's best girl in the whole show now. Let's be official. Let's see, let's just drop it out the window. She is the oh, most attractive best girl in the show. She's a badass. She's literally fighting. What if you watch the last episode of My Hero Academia, you see Endeavor fighting one of those Nomu, and it's like yeah, a one of the supercharged Nomu. Yep, and she is holding her own against what five to four, even though they're not fully awake until like I think she says that like they're fully waking up now type of deal. Yeah, but, she's but she's holding still her own on like four or five. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, while having lost part of an arm. Oh yeah, dude. she she lost like a good half of her of her one arm. She's like beaten to crap. And, and she, that's not even that's before this episode even starts. She runs up. She's like, "Okay, none of my hits are landing anymore." She's like, "All right, I'm just gonna run to the dock then and uh, end this with him." Yep. And you see her about to drop. She gets stabbed through the what the leg, but you see leg her about and the, the ear. Yeah, You're, you see her about she, to drop kick him, but then it cuts. I love how much of a coward he is. The doctor is like every time he gets in danger, he acts like such a little coward. Dude, it's great. His face is. I know he's like spewing snot and saliva. I'm just like, yeah. It's it's his face into the floor. But uh, they cut. We cut back to Endeavor and Hawks, and uh, we not Endeavor and Hawks. I should say Hawks and Dobby. But he uh, before uh, Hawks is about to bite the dust, we see Endeavor and uh, we see Fumikage save Hawks. Yeah, we see Fumikage f- save Hawks from Dobby. Which is another bad matchup, which I'm really interested to hear because uh, Fumakage has a weakness to light, and we already know he got beat by Bakugo, who is kind of a fire user. He same basic, and then Endeavor saves uh, Mirioko from one of the powered up Nomu. I don't think. No, wait. He so wait. I thought he Endeavor was with. Was he with Mirioko? Did I read that wrong? Yeah, he. Yeah, he's down. He's down in the cellar with Mirioko. Oh, I read that yeah. wrong. Then I'm I'm looking back at the chapter now. What? How did you? <laughs> yeah, he literally like just stomps on uh, the Nomu because we get we get Fumikage saving uh, 
Hawks, and then you see Dark Shadow putting a cape over Hawks to protect him, and then Endeavor comes out of nowhere and just smashes the Nomu into the dirt. I I don't know. I read this chapter three times, and that panel I'm looking at it now. I thought he was saving a. Uh, he was hitting Dobby to the ground. No. No. The very. Did you notice the very very last part of the panel mm-hmm. is uh, Miriyoko? Half of her ear flying off, still about to deliver the drop kick to kill the doctor and or destroy him. I don't know which it needs to happen, but oh. I I think it needs to happen. But I actually think we're about to go into despair mode. I think next chapter is going to be pretty dark. Like whatever he's trying to revive is definitely going to get dark. And I, I mean, don't want her gonna, to I think die. I think Shigaraki's going to come out of his cage. I don't think she's going to die. I don't I don't see death flags for her just yet. She's yep. too badass. We yeah. can't get like the most badass female character just die immediately after her being badass. That would be just a waste. She this whole this was a great chapter. I guess my issues was going to be that I thought Endeavor coming to save Dobby was a bullshitter move, or not Dobby like Hawks. And yeah. that, but since that didn't happen, now my 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 reaction changed a bit. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. <laughs> I know I was about to say because when you talked about it before, you're like, oh man, I hate that Endeavor came out. I'm like. Why? What's wrong with Endeavor saving the like saving the girl? But I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was I thought it, wrong fight. I had him in the wrong fight. That's what happened. That's why I'm like I don't, I don't know if I like that. But now oh I'm I'm gosh. I'm all for it because she needed to get saved because I thought she was gonna die next chapter. That death flag was there for me because I was like she's gonna die next chapter if there's no one there to help her. Right. But yeah, since but now you got Endeavor backing her up and he mm-hmm. probably had to clear the other Nomu to get to her. Mm-hmm. So raw power and i per, i personally love endeavor as a character his design is great dude his personality sucks but his design is great well when he gets into fighting whoo whoo let's uh i think that's a that's a wrap uh what can uh, yeah. these people follow you on social i uh, just put in the description as always yeah we'll just put it in the description and you can find me on the roof show on twitter the exact same title as my youtube channel and i uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day aaron la- any last words Go read the rest of My Hero Academia if you haven't already. Come on. It's great. They have to be reading if they're watching this video at this point. So, hey, they might have just been attracted by our beautiful faces. You I don't know. think that's the case. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have a good one.